What ho, dragon! You've met your final match today! In the name of the Light and the Holy Father, I will strike you down! Have at thee, thou godless beast! <laughs> I am victorious once more! Let all of Ordania sing my name in jovial merriment, for I have... Oh, goodness! Oh, by the Empyrean heavens! A survivor! Oh. But you are wounded! Quickly! You must allow me to address that wound. Nonsense. I won't hear it. That gash on your arm is nothing to scoff at. Believe you me, Goodman. Now, please, just sit yourself down against this tree. Here, I'll help you. There you are. Now, let me just see if I can dig some bandages out of my pack here. Heavens, I can find anything in this damnable bag until the time comes when I actually need it. Hmm. <laughs> well, it seems as though I've gone and lost my bandages. I cry your mercy, Goodman, but pray thee fear not. I may not have found any bandages. However, I did find this old shirt. Unfortunately, it's a bit worse for wear already, so... Oh, rest easy, Goodman. It's a clean fabric. Well, clean as it can be after wrinkling together in my pack for the last fortnight or so. Now, we've got to clean off that wound first. I've got some water left in my skin here. I'll just wet this down. There we are. Now, hold still. This is going to sting a little bit. Oh, does that hurt very much? Forgive me, Goodman. I'm just so used to dressing my own wounds, I, I tend to forget my vigor. I'll be more gentle. There. The blood is coming away now. You know, it really doesn't look bad. I'd say you got off easy. If anything, I would count thee lucky that that was a red dragon, and not one of its venomous cousins. <laughs> then you really would have been in a bind. But I've seen worse than this. We'll have thee good as new in no time. All right. Now, please keep still, Goodman. And I'll apply the... the bandages. Worry not, Goodman. I see thee glaring at the fallen beast. It can harm you no longer. You have my word. That dragon... I've been tracking it for a few weeks now. It is called Myrdenax. Damnable beast attacked my town some years ago. I... I lost my brother during the battle, in the defense of our home. That day, I swore an oath to the gods, vowing to tear Myrdenax from the skies and claim vengeance for my fallen brother and our ravaged home. This victory may never have promised to return my brother to me, but it gives me great relief to know that I was able to save someone from that rotten dragon. There. Twas but a few scratches. Nothing time and a few drinks can't handle, am I right, Goodman? <laughs> Still, you should stay and rest a bit longer. Get some stamina back. For where are you bound, Goodman? Just headed home, eh? You poor thing. Trying to sequester thine self within safe sanctuary, and you are accosted by that winged serpent. I wish I could do more for thee than simply dressing the wounds it gave you. I've got it. Once thou have gotten a proper moment's rest, 
My steed can carry you, and we will ride out to your home, swiftly and safely. Why, not even a buzzing bee will dare to threaten thee then. Does that sound quite all right, Goodman? Capital. But let us not be too hasty. A moment to catch the breath would be best for us both, I believe. Now that you're good and patched up... <clears throat> here. Go ahead and quench yourself. I suppose I can tell you a bit more about myself while we rest. Why... Well, I may be armored in the trappings of a proper knight. However, I am actually just a knight errant. I don't actually serve any lord or lady at present. But my plan after slaying Myrdanex was to ride in search of one such person to serve, and to uphold righteous duty in their name. I suppose today marks a new chapter in my life. Who knows? Perhaps I might declare you my lord, Goodman. <laughs> Only joking. Mostly. Forgive me if I overstep, Goodman, but... I find thou rather fetching. Yes, you're quite handsome. Has anyone ever told you? <laughs> no, that's not the only reason I'd pledge my service to thee. I can't quite put a finger on it. And I know we've only just met, but... I see something in your eyes. You're not like the careless masses. I mean... Glory of the light shine upon them, for all are needed in these trying times, but I look into thine eyes and I see something different, sparkling, like two radiant candles. You, you are worth protecting. I just know it. Nobility be damned. I'll tell you what, Goodman, I'll take thee home and leave thee to thine solitude for the night. I happen to know that there is going to be a tournament in town within the next few days, and I'm eager to test my mettle against the local fighters around the area. Perhaps thou might like to come see me fight. Win or lose, it'll be a good reason to get out and have some fun after a day like this. Think about it. I'd be happy to see thee in the crowd, cheering me on against my opponents. Uh, all right. I'm sufficiently cooled off. How are you feeling? A little better? Good, good. Here, let me help you stand. <clears throat> all right. Now, let's get mounted up. All right. Here, take my hand. <clears throat> there we go. Just grab on anywhere you please. I'm not shy. <laughs> right. Comfortable? Okay. Let's ride. <clears throat> 